Hi everyone, I wanted to make a video today talking about the things within your house. Now I know a lot of you guys already know the basics, which rooms are called what, small things around the house, so this video is going to focus on more specific things, things that you might have missed when you're studying on your own or in class. So let's go ahead, go on inside and check everything out. So we're going to head in through the front door, so this would be your main door that you go in through. Now my apartment's quite small, so my living room and my kitchen are all in the same room. So let's look through the living room first. That is my sofa, but also known as a couch. And this small table here is known as a coffee table. So not just regular table, coffee table, because it's shorter and it's situated in the living room, place where you would have coffee with your friends or when you have guests over. Um, over here, we have curtains. So these are called curtains. You can close, shut them. People will say often, close the curtains, close the blinds. Up here, we have a fan, but more specifically, it's known as a ceiling fan because it's on the ceiling. Let's move into the kitchen. Over here, we have a fridge, right? You guys probably know fridge already, but since this one's so short, you actually call it a mini fridge. Um, over here, we have my kitchen counter. So the counter is all this space here. Over here, I would call this the burner. So this is just a single burner, uh, electric one. Not very common in the States to have an electric burner like this but I think they're really cool and I wish we did have more. Same goes for this, so this is an electric kettle. Uh, most Americans don't have an electric kettle. They might have a kettle that you just put on the burner here to heat up for tea, something like that. Um, oh, and another thing that Americans usually don't have, a rice cooker. Um, I think they're really convenient to have and I really wish more people in America would have them in their kitchens. This whole shelving unit here, so it's just shelves, you could call this the pantry. And it's called a shelf because it doesn't have doors that open and close. So these are just shelves. This would be um, your, I guess, dish rack to, care, to hold all of your plates, bowls, pots and pans hang here. It's a really nice setup. A lot of uh, kitchens in America don't have setup like this where it hangs over the sink like this it's really convenient to uh, wash your dishes and then just hang them up here so that's nice over here we have just a table uh, some chairs there's my backpack uh, out the back we have a balcony so just a balcony not really looking at anything very pretty so we can go back in over here, this would be more shelves, but uh, you might call them bookshelves. Good place to store books, but I just put all kinds of stuff up there, whatever I don't have room for anywhere else. Over here, this is rolled up, but you might call that an exercise mat or more commonly known as a yoga mat. All right, let's move into the bedroom. So we have a bed, a fan, so this one's just a fan since it's not mounted on the uh, ceiling or anything. TV, PlayStation, um, over here I would say this would be my desk near the window here. Up here we have the air conditioner or more commonly referred to as AC, just short for air conditioner, AC. Over here we have my closet. So this is a closet because it's built into the wall. You see, you can't take it out. If you could take it out and move it around, then you would call it a wardrobe. Over here, so this little table next to your bed, I have two, but this would be referred to as a nightstand or bedside table. Let's move into the bathroom. So here's the bathroom. I have lots of stuff on my bathroom counter, um, but we'll go through very quickly. Shampoo, face wash, um, deodorant, 
lotion or moisturizer, sunscreen or sun cream, hand soap, so this is soap you only wash your hands with, uh, toothbrush, razor, which I never really use. Um, these are known as cotton swabs, but you might also hear them in America called Q-tips, just because that's the most popular brand in America. Toothpaste, floss, floss your teeth, save you some cavities. Um, this is a hairbrush. This is a comb, so hairbrush and a comb. Two different names, but they do kind of the same thing. This is a beard trimmer, which you use to trim up your beard if you have one. You can use it on your hair too if you want. Uh, this would be my bathroom sink, so it's pretty cluttered. I have probably too much stuff. Um, over here, mop and bucket to clean it up. Over here is the bathroom garbage or bathroom trash. Over here, we have another curtain, but this is a different kind of curtain. We'd call this the shower curtain. Keep the water from flying everywhere. Here, we have a towel rack, a place to hang your towels, so you call it a towel rack. Over here, water heater. Uh, another thing that's not very common in the States is a water heater right in the bathroom. They usually have a big one down in the basement or in an electrical room. This is the shower, but the part that the water comes out of is the shower head. So right here's the shower head, also shower head. Two of them on this one. All right, everyone, so that was the tour of my little apartment. I've got something I'm gonna set up real quick, and then I'm gonna show it to you guys. It's a way to remember all these things that I've shown you, especially the ones that you really are having trouble remembering. So give me one second. Right, so what I have done is I have put sticky notes all over my apartment, try to remember what things are called. You know, if I put them on there, I think it'll be a lot easier to remember. So why don't you guys try this out? Leave them on there as long as they'll stay. All right, that's it for this video. Good luck remembering all the things in your house. Have a great day.